This is the story of Ruth and Naomi, written by Alice Joyce Davidson. Alice is a little girl who likes to play pretend. She found an old lace curtain and played dress up with a friend. They held a wedding in the yard and had a lot of fun. Then Alice felt like reading when the cleaning up was done. She took a Bible storybook and sat beneath a tree and read how Ruth was blessed for being kind as she could be. As Alice read the story, the airmail bird stopped by. He brought this little message, then he flew off in the sky. Reading is the magic key to take you where you want to be. The book that Alice read became a great big special screen. Alice walked on through to Bible Land and came upon the scene. She saw Naomi walking and walking by her side were Ruth and Orpah, both of them the wives of sons who died. Long ago, Naomi said, my life was really grand. We lived in far off Israel until famine struck the land. Then my little family traveled for many days and nights. We settled here in Moab among the Moabites. Everything was going well. We had a happy life. My sons grew up and each of you became a loving wife. Now my husband and two sons have died. I'm lonely as can be. I'm going back to Israel to be with my family. Ruth and Orpah hugged her tight and said, We'll both go too. No, Naomi answered. Moab's the place for you. Orpah kissed Naomi and said a sad goodbye. But Ruth said, I must go with you. And here is the reason why. Where you want to go to live is where I am to go. Your land and people will be mine because I love you so. They traveled on and on and on for many days and nights until one day Naomi saw some old familiar sights. They found a place where they could live in Bethlehem and then Naomi said a thankful prayer for being home again. Ruth said to Naomi, I'll take good care of you. It's harvest time in Bethlehem and here is what I'll do. I'll find a place where barley grows and in the field I'll find some fallen stalks of barley that the workers left behind. Now Naomi had a relative who lived in Bethlehem. His name was Boaz and he was a very wealthy man. The field where Alice was gleaning, any barley she could find was owned by this man Boaz, who was generous and kind. Ruth worked from dawn to dusk each day. She only took her share. And one day as she gleaned the field, Boaz saw her there. When Boaz asked about her, he was told of her kind deeds, how she brought Naomi food each night and tended to her needs. Boaz went to Ruth and said, take all you need to eat. And when the barley is all picked, you may stay and glean the wheat. Ruth bowed her head and said, I'm thankful as can be, but I am just a stranger here. Why are you so kind to me? Boaz asked, I've heard about your loving, caring ways, and I know the Lord of Israel will bless you all your days. Ruth stayed and gleaned the fields each day and beneath the burning sun, returned home to Naomi when the long, long day was done. The beauty of her soul shone through as Boaz watched each day, and he began to think of her in a very loving way. When the harvesting was through, this thought came to his mind. I'd like to take Ruth for my wife, for she's so good and kind. Naomi was delighted, and she told Ruth happily, The Lord has truly blessed you for being good to me. Ruth and Boaz married, and they were happy ever after. They had a son named Abed, who brought them joy and laughter. The time had come for Alice to leave the Bible scene, and she thought about the things she learned as she walked through her screen. Ruth was loyal to Naomi and was blessed by God above with a new life and a marriage 
filled with happiness and love. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you go out and put good things into the world and be kind to others. Have a blessed day.